Why Bitcoin Matters for Human Rights in two minutes. Today, cash is disappearing, whether it's in the United Kingdom or the United States or Sweden or South Korea, a smaller and smaller amount of our daily transactions are done with cash. We have to think about the implications of a cashless society where all money is digitally centralized. We have to think about what happens when we lose the financial privacy afforded to us by paper money. We have to think about the new powers that states and corporations gain as we trade our privacy and freedom for comfort and convenience. Because what you buy and sell says more about you than your words. Consider, when you make a transaction with a paper bill, the merchant doesn't know your name, your email address, your phone number, or really anything about you. By contrast, when you make a transaction with a phone or a wearable or a swipe or one day a chip, you reveal an enormous amount of information about yourself, which leads to control by corporations and governments and censorship and surveillance and gradually social engineering. This is why Bitcoin is so revolutionary, because it lays the groundwork for a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, where unlike today's legacy arrangement, where there's banks and software companies and payment processors in the middle of every single digital transaction that happens, instead, nobody's in the middle of you and the person you are paying. Their payment processing is done instead by a global competition. And this is why, in a world and in a future where we will have state money, we will have corporate money, Bitcoin is more like the people's money. It is a way out. It is an alternative. Now, less than 1% of us have used Bitcoin, perhaps 50 or 60 million out of the 7.5 billion on this earth. But if we keep growing this, and if Bitcoin thrives, humans will have a money that can't be censored by authorities, that can't be devalued by governments, that can't be monopolized by corporations, that can't be easily mass surveilled, that can't be stopped by borders, and that can be accessed by anyone. And that's why Bitcoin matters for human rights.